Hey friends, welcome to today's video. Today is going to be the greatest day of your life. You know, if you're anxious, slow down. If you're depressed, speed up. You know, anxiety can often mean we're doing too much and possibly overthinking. And you know, slowing down can consciously help with this. Or being depressed can often be remedied by leaning into action and just getting busy. You know, even if we initially feel sluggish, it's that initial activity that can be the motivator to inspire additional action towards achieving our goals or getting done what we need to get done in a given day. And when we've achieved things and accomplished things, additionally, that can help relieve a depressive state. Never make big decisions when you're emotional. You know, take time with big decisions and give the decision as much time as possible. If you're not sure, avoid it. But if you're scared and you know it's the right thing to do in your gut, I recommend that you act. Don't buy into thoughts that make you feel worse. Now, we feel our thoughts, and if our thinking makes us doubtful and fearful, those thoughts are not serving us. You know, we don't need to be at the mercy of a thought. We can let it flow past and redirect into taking action instead. Or, to even simplify, use your goal card. When you have negative or unwanted thoughts in your mind, get out your goal card. Take a couple of deep breaths and read the statement you have on the back of your goal card over and over again, 20, 30, maybe 40 times. But in time, by repetitively repeating what's on the back of your goal card, you will have refocused not only your conscious, but your subconscious mind into taking action and feeling good about the goal you're currently working on. And whatever you have written on this card, I'm sure it's powerful, positive, and appropriate for your beautiful future. So use the goal card to your benefit. Negative thoughts be gone to when you turn your goal card on. Just give it a run. Give it a try. I guarantee you, it'll definitely change things for you. It's the most powerful tool we currently have in our goal achievement toolkit, and it'll change your life. If you're self-conscious, focus on others. You know, self-consciousness has brought me personally very little but misery. And you know, when I feel anxious, it's time to focus on making someone else smile. This takes the pressure off me and instantly makes me feel better. But you know what? It makes somebody else feel better too. The giver always gets more than the getter. Send somebody a nice note. Tell them thank you. Tell a dad joke to somebody. Or maybe just send out a positive email to a coworker, letting them know how much you appreciated the fact that they helped you. And then let them know how they helped you and what it was that was accomplished as a result of the interaction. You know what? You're going to make them smile. They're going to have a great day. And by doing something good for somebody else that makes them smile you're going to have a great day too. Make the first move. You know, stop waiting for permission to create something cool. You know, start a conversation with a stranger. Jump first. Lean in first and make it a habit to do so. You know, now that you're becoming a greater leader and you set the precedent for creating success that others are going to admire and follow, be the example. Jump in. Share your ideas. Be positive and share positivity wherever you can. But when you jump first, you're setting a habit that's going to allow you to make decisions and continue down a path towards incredible success. It'll make a huge difference in your life. Walk tall. Posture has been known to directly affect our chemical composition in our minds. Among other benefits, strengthening muscles, but it also has the ability to change our mental perspective. You see, walk a fraction taller with a skip in your step. Your self-image will improve by doing just this alone. 
always look your best. You know, the little things regarding your appearance make a huge difference in how you perceive yourself and how others perceive you. You know, clean your dirty shoes off or iron your shirt. It will infect your confidence in a good way. Refuse to whine and moan. You know, sometimes it's cathartic to complain to a friend, but don't make it a habit. Whining reaffirms a negative reality, and focusing on what, good, what is good brings more good into your life. Do what most others will refuse to do. You know, what interests you? And how can you set yourself apart in this area by doing what others do not? You know, others may not have the patience and the stomach for what you're willing to do, but write a list of things you'd be willing to do that others would not. And then those are ways that you can separate yourself from the pack. Create. Then create some more. You know, the antidote. The antidote to most of life's woes is to enter into the spirit of creativity. I tell you what, it's what we've evolved to do. Instead of reacting and allowing a dark slump to take over your mind, make something cool. It could make all the difference in your day and maybe in the day of somebody else. Never get into arguments. You know, think about this. Arguments are just opportunities for insecure people to snatch at validation. It's a waste of time and a race to the bottom. Smile and move on. Your relaxed demeanor will inspire other people. Make a habit of asking. You know, many people fall, fall short of their dreams and potential because they don't want to rock the boat. You know, they don't ask for help and they don't ask people for things. You can have anything you want if you're willing to ask enough people for it. Write and share something every day. You know, you don't need to be Stephen King to be a daily writer. Journal your thoughts, brainstorm ideas, share your stories, build a following with your advice. There's little downside and massive upside to daily writing. Smile when you don't feel like it. You know, be lighthearted and lift the mood. You know, this will make you more creative and open to new ideas and connections. Do it for them and do it for you. It's hard to be negative with a smile on your face. It's hard to be mad with a smile on your face. Just remember to smile. It'll make all the difference in your day and possibly in the day of those around you. And I want to remind you that there is no comfort in your growth zone, but there is no growth in your comfort zone. So the ideas I've shared with you today, be willing to think them through. Is there anything that I said that might possibly have generated some thoughts that you have around being more successful, having a positive attitude, making some small changes to enact big changes in your life? That's what we're working on. That's what we're trying to achieve. I think you're doing an amazing job. Listen, I care about you and I believe in you. And I know if anybody can do it, you can. I hope I've inspired you in some way today with these thoughts that I've come up with. You know what? I really do care about you. And I just want to get you thinking. Have a beautiful day, friends. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care.